Hi, I'm Flair from Book of Flowers and Gifts. We run a flower card fair approximately once a month. Details are on our website. Don't forget to comment, give us a thumbs up, and not to miss any of our videos, subscribe to the channel. Okay. <coughs> right, ladies, welcome to the deluxe wreath class making. Um, we're going back to old school way of making the wreath in the whole natural uh, way using moss, wire frame and real wire. So first of all you get the end of your real wire and where the metal joint has got a joint wrap the end of your wire around securely so that it doesn't break away easily. Okay so that's secure enough there. Then you get your hands right into this and you make a sausage. <laughs> so you kind of squidge it, knead it, make a sausage and hold it against the wire frame and then with the real wire we're going over the moss, tightly bind and you just keep going round until you've got the full ring of moss. Um, years and years ago I found a frog. In my, in my bag of moss. <laughs> you won't find it. We've had a look. Don't worry. We've we've examined all your moss thoroughly. Uh, there will not be any surprises there. But we got a shark. Yeah, we did. Anyway, we, we put him out, uh, and he was fine. So thanks for that. <coughs> okay. Another, roll it, yeah, it's an interesting, it's just gorgeous because the smell from this alone is amazing and they last so long, they really do. I've had customers come to me um, over the years, we, we unfortunately we don't get the time to do this, this is why it's a specialist class we buy spruce rings in there because I have a lot of customers that want them making up for special things colors and like the nursery theme that I was saying about before they're gonna have some toys on them and we get lots of customers wanting them the standard ones for the doors and of course the cemeteries so <coughs> we just couldn't physically make all of that amount but it's nice to come back to it doing it this way so I'm just folding it in folding it in with my thumb on this side my fingers on that side <coughs> now if you want to be particular about your straggly bits <laughs> you can give it a little haircut if you think that that's quite natural and it looks nice leave it as is cut the end and just fold it into the moss okay that's that's the easy process uh, if bits fall it doesn't matter but that's pretty secure i'm going to leave the straggly bits okay so we've got a nice selection of foliages to dress the top and then we go in with the decorations at the end so there's like three layers <coughs> it's all about the layering and the mixing and the moss in the hair <laughs> so we have oh yeah I've got various varieties I don't want to drop these okay so this variety is hemlock okay that's got a nice zingy lemon liney colour um, and then this is Cupress which is great then we have Broom okay Miniature Ivy, Variegated Ivy which is quite sweet uh, Large Variegated Ivy with the berries um, Eucalyptus, a little touch of that. So you've got some eucalyptus in front of the bucket as well. 
for more eucalyptus. Thank you. And does anyone know what this is? It's viburnum, so it's a commonly known oh. steelberry. You can kind of see why. So I'm keeping what my favourites are for the top. So the underneath layered parts are going to be just slapped on. Now, I've discovered a way that I'm hoping is going to be a bit easier and a quicker way for you guys to make your reeds. So what I'm doing now is just placing the foliage so I've got like hemlock cupress hemlock cupress in amounts that kind of cover but don't worry as I say if you like to see the moss through you know you're making it for your door or wherever it's going so you need to be thinking about the look that you're after not particularly exactly copying what I'm doing because every time I take a class you get the same products and they all look different and that's lovely because we learn from each other that way so I haven't got a piece of wire to wrap this round to anchor it into so I'm going to push the end of the wire in and then hold it so it's firm and then bind this is the easier than the double leg mount so we're binding the foliage to the moss base okay there you go round and round and then just I'm near I can see where I've started so I'll keep that towards me oops and then I'm going to go in with the next layer broom so flexible you can do that with it you can have it sticking out you can have it going around it's up to you but the beauty of it is you can manipulate it so it sort of goes the way you want it to go um, and I like nice to have that on the top because it's like a 3d effect almost so next I'm gonna have my viburnum and eucalyptus so I'm patterning this around as well um, and just stick the ends in the moss and then we'll bind that on again okay if there's like a bit of a, a raw end, just neaten it off. Attention to, to detail. Or if you like to see, that's up to you. So I'll get my steel berry. Here. And some on my side. Just kind of let it stay where it wants to stay and then I'm going different ways so not everything's facing the same way so it's a little bit more interesting I've just cut that so it's a sharp edge and then it's going to go in better um, we'll have a bit of holly there oh and we'll have some of this gosh it's worked for choice here um, okay so let's make a start on binding this all around okay now if you want anything to fall out of the inner circle don't bind it tight so take it away let it go let it go <laughs> and be creative your wreath does not have to be an exact an exact polo look it's a natural product that 
It's like, as I say, it's lovely to see all the different designs. Uh, I've got some with berries, yeah. There's one on the floor. Oh no. Thank you. Right. So you've all got roughly the same amounts of foliage. You should all have the same amounts of decorations. Uh, I'm going to go in with another piece of broom because I like it. On the other side. Okay, just going to catch that in. You do have to catch them in because if you lift it up, obviously it'll just fall away. But you don't have to finally tightly catch this section in. So pull that tight as you can, cut the ends off, fall in. If it comes out the other side that's fine, just turn it back on itself and stitch your leaf. Okay. So that's looking quite nice. We've got some gorgeous decorations. There is choices on your ribbons. The choices are some star patterned, traditional uh, red, uh, white if you like living, if it's quite dark on your door and you want to lighten this up a bit. And we also have raffia. Um, so you can pick what you want. So we're each getting about a meter. I'll use this because it's the first thing I've got in my hand. This is the trick. If you're struggling, we are here to assist. <laughs> but if you learn this, you can ha all have wonderful presents and say, look at me, I can make a bow. <laughs> okay? So, it's that easy. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my pot of stub wires. <laughs> I don't I'm not having a I must not have <laughs> given myself a little pot with stuff while it's in. Hopefully I'll get it to me in a minute. That's pretty. I need the pot with the kebab as well. I need more than that. Bring me a pot please, assistant. I'm doing your work. Okay, so you get your stub wire. These are stub wires as opposed to real wires. Fold your bow in, pinch, and then key turn it as tight as you can. And there's your ribbon. Okay, but we're going to put that on <laughs> last. <coughs> Little trick. I learnt. <laughs> These are not the easiest things to wire. Uh, so if you go in with a kebab stick to make your hole, no, twist it the other way. There's your hole ready for your wire. And if you're struggling, John's really good at these. <laughs> I thought you can get it. Oh, here you go. Okay, so you've got a fish for your way through the little slits of the whole orange. And Did you make the orange? I can't got time. For a wedding at the weekend. No, I'm not. <laughs> so that's ready for that. But if you do want to make it to 180 degrees in the oven for three and a half hours. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah. There you go. Thanks, John. Yeah. We're all coming around to your <laughs> house. Make sure you put your slits in first. Yeah. Yeah. So you can for wiring. You get the bottom side. Take your wire through. Twist tightly round. You've got three of these. Um. And oh, I've already done you. I don't want you back. There you go. Okay. We've also got some lovely natural lotus heads. Poke through the middle and push out. Come on, there you go. So you break it, but you make a hook on this side so it doesn't rip 
right the way through. Don't pull it so that it does do that, just feel it so it's secure. That's all you need to do with that. I'll show you again, because we've all got two each. So one of the little pod holes through, little hoot on the end, pull. We've all got cotton, it's cotton, it genuinely is. You can take it home and clean your face if you want, <laughs> or you can use it for decoration purposes. Okay, so we've got two of them. So we've got a funny little wooden stem. So we take the wire across that funny little wooden stem, pull it down and that's secure. That's secure. Okay. We've also got, anyone know what these are? Berries. Hmm? Crab apples. Miniature version, malice. Okay, now I cheated and got a little pick, but what we need to do for this is if you want your stem facing up, that's fine. So take your wire and underneath, through, little hook, back on itself, and then we're going to position it so we don't see the wire, so you just see the lovely red <laughs> Malice Crab Apple. And Jesus. I've got one that I'm prepared. Two slices of lime hold together or you can individually wire them whatever you want. I'm going together. So underneath the rind of each one position them together, <coughs> pull your wire down and twist tight. So that's all my decorations ready to <coughs> pop on this beautiful wreath. I'm going for a grouped look. So I'm pushing in my two cottons together because they're like little <coughs> love cotton buds there. And then you've got two wires at the back. Twist together <coughs> and push into the moss. Make sure you've got no raw end sticking out, I don't want bills for your doors, okay? <laughs> Next, I'm going to do, yeah, we will have a lotus head here, <coughs> so we'll have one facing in and one facing up, and just under those lovely steel berries, again, two twist and then your two ends right into that moss okay <laughs> next <coughs> we'll go split orange but because there's a bit of red there actually I'm gonna pop him here so in there yeah let's come right through the other side I'm gonna pop the two slices of lime at the side of him keep the fruits together, twist and in, okay. I'm only going to wire um, one malice, you've each got four, so just for quickness I'm just going to put the one in with a cone and twist in. Uh, I'll pop these in around here. Okay. And then all I've got left decoration wise are my two cinnamon sticks. Uh, <coughs> which we're going to go in here. These are already wired in bundles for you to make life easy. So through the ring with that, through with that, 
hold it up each time you're adding something make sure you're happy with the positioning before you actually twist and anchor that back in because if you're not you've got that manipulating movement in the wire so you can fiddle with it a little bit before you're secure in the back okay and my final decoration is the ribbon so we'll slide you in there so it's just one and you just fill that in okay so i want to see some gorgeous reeds from you guys So thank you everyone for um, participating in today's session. Um, if you subscribe to our channel, um, like and comment on the video and give us some feedback, that would be great. If you want to know when the next classes are, if you go to our website and go on to schools that will, and subscribe to our newsletter, that will give you all the information you need and you'll just get it automatically.